Bye. And we're recording and I'm going to mute everyone. Well, good evening, everybody. This is Evie, your host this evening on the general session. Today is the 9th of December, 2020, and we are on the John Lavenia Success Mastermind platform. Wee so <laughs> as a title for today, um, I was gonna, I was, I, I'm, I'm torn between two, so I'm gonna let John decide what the final title for the general session is. Um, one is personal praise, so personal praise, or give me one second. Yeah, so personal, per <laughs> personal praise or active appreciation, active appreciation. The reason why I've chosen those two things is, you know, every now and again, we celebrate our wins. So, you know, we, we say to people, what's been your win this week? Or is there anything you want us to celebrate with you? And people kind of like reel off a whole host of things. Either a listing has gone up or the product has arrived from the supplier or it's finally at the Amazon warehouse, you know, whatever it is. But I, I find that I'm not sure we actively celebrate those wins. And what I mean by Think about your favorite sports team. When they score a goal, imagine how wild the stadium goes, right? Everybody screams and hands go up in the air. And if you've got, you know, cheerleading pom-poms and that kind of stuff, I mean, people raise their voices, right? You raise the roof when you celebrate a win, right? When you score a goal, you don't need to be told what's happened. Everybody for miles knows that some team has scored a goal and it's the cheerleaders, it's the supporters, that are celebrating their team, right? So that's why I went with active appreciation. And then on the personal side, a lot of us, whether it's because of limiting beliefs or whether it's because we're not where we want to be, we don't, we don't praise ourselves. We don't give ourselves a pat on the back. So, so you know, I, I'm just gonna throw it out there. How many people have looked themselves in the mirror of late and actually pointed at their reflection and said, you know what? You're not bad. You're all good, you know? You're super, well done. I mean, how often do we do this, right? So just, just type a one in the chat if you've actually done this to yourself looking in the mirror, giving yourself a pat on the back saying, you know, Evie, well done. Or, you know, Carleen, congratulations, you're doing good. I mean, how many of us have done that, right? And it, it takes up personal praise. Because if we don't do it, why should anybody else give us that praise, right? Why should anybody else cheer us on? If we are going to be against ourselves, who, who, who should be on our side, right? And so th those are two things that were coming up for me. And I'm not saying, say to yourself, you're the best thing since sliced bread or that you're all that and a bag of chips, you know, no, there, there's, there's a limit and that, that's an extreme where you then become, you know, egocentric or whatever. I, I'm not saying that extreme. I'm just saying you may not be where you want to be, right? This is a 9th of December. You may have set goals, you know, maybe in February or even in June, whenever it was you got onto blue sky, you may have thought, oh, by now I would have XYZ product listed, or I would have hit XYZ revenue by now, or my, my product would have been, you know, from the supply, it will be at the Amazon warehouse by now. So I'm, I'm in time for Christmas, whatever it was that that milestone, that goal was right. You may not be quite there, but guess what? You're not where you were either. You've actually moved, right? So if in June you set that goal, you're not still where you were in June. You may not be where you planned to be come December, but you're certainly not where you were in June where you set that goal, right? So every now and again, you need to look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm doing okay, right? I may not be where I wanna go. Yes, there's still room for improvement. Yes, there's still room for growth, but guess what? I'm headed in the right direction. I mean, I look on this platform and quite a few, you know, a few of us are single parents, whether it's single dads raising daughters, whether it's single mothers raising sons, whether it's, you know, whatever it is, you know, whether it's even dual parents raising kids, right? In today's world, it's pretty tough, right? Raising kids. How many times do you look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I may not be the perfect parent, but I'm not that bad. 
when you look at your your your, your children, right? And they, you know, they, they, they go out and they, they remember to say the please, the thank yous, you know, they wash their hands, you know, all those things you've taught them, all the manners, all the, you know, you see them actually doing it. And that smile breaks out on your face when you're outside and they're actually doing what you've taught them. Do you ever say, you know what? Wow, I'm so glad I got that right, right? So whether it's on a personal level or on a business level, we need to appreciate ourselves more, right? So I'm going to ask us to do something at the end, right, of this call, at the end of when I speak. So if you want to get a drink, whether it's your tea or your coffee or your water bottle or your shake, we're actually going to raise a glass to ourselves and we're going to cheer ourselves, right? We're going to drink to our health, you know, whatever it is. I want us to be active, right? I want us to celebrate each other with a gesture, not just saying the words, but add actions to this right and make it a regular um uh, uh you know a, a regular habit right let's create this habit of celebrating our successes actively celebrating our successes so not just you know wishy-washy saying it when somebody asks you you know what's your win this week but you know going yes you know i did it you know that put that oomph into it right raise the vibration in the room right let that energy speak right change the environment, change the atmosphere around you and actually celebrate that success. Um, something else that was coming up for me is you can't attract what you attack, right? So if you're not your main cheerleader, if you're attacking yourself and you're constantly on a downward spiral saying, you know what, um, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a speaker or, um, you know, I'm rubbish at researching products or, oh my goodness, I can't add to save my life. If you're always harping on the things you don't do so well, and you don't celebrate the things you do well, you're actually attacking yourself, right? So that mental image of who you want to be at the end of this journey, you can't attract that because you're constantly attacking the you that exists right here and right now. So if you want to attract that person who's going to arrive at that end destination, you've got to stop attacking, attacking yourself, right? So that's just something I want to throw out there. Um, the second thing is, you know, if we look at the um, latest chapter that we read in Think and Grow Rich, his invisible counselors, right? He had a group of men that he admired and each of them, he actually put them in his, in, you know, in his group, in his group of counselors for a different reason. There was a skill, there was a character trait, there was something positive that each of those men were going to add to his life. Can you imagine if he attacked those individual counselors, right? There is no way he would have been able to benefit from their life's journeys. There's no way he'd have been able to you know, learn at, at the feet of those masters because they were masters in their own right. They may not have been, they definitely weren't completely perfect, but at some things they did, they were pretty darn good at what they did, right? I mean, take Henry Ford, for example. I mean, he just went against all odds, right? And came out, you know, <laughs> success, right? Edison, how many failures did he have before he eventually got to that? This is what I've been dying to invent. And he got there in the end. So he, he formed this invisible group of counselors. But if he didn't see something good in each of those people that he wanted for himself, there is no way he would have come out of that 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 journey, that experience, having gained from the lives of these people. So once again, what you attack, you can't attract, right? So if you had attacked those men for whatever they'd achieved, you know, whether it was their wealth, whether it was their rich, riches, whether it was the massive organizations they, they built, whether it was their legacies, there's no way he could have learned or, or gained from their experience, right? So once again, whoever it is we're looking up to, if you don't like your role model, then that role model is never going to rub off on you, right? I mean, how many people here, once again in the chat, put in a two? If if you don't value, I mean, we all love John, right? We, we, we owe a debt of gratitude to John. Just put a two in the chat if you're with me on that, because I think we're all here because John's created the space, right? Where we all, I mean, we're, we're a family now. We, we've probably been together more on this platform than we have with our own families, with, their, with our colleagues, with our friends. So this has become our core group, right? <laughs> I love it, John, thanks, right? All the twos. So, so this, is, this is something that 
I, 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 you know, I keep saying this, it's been birthed out of a year of uncertainty, out of a year of chaos, but this is who we are. Come December 2020, we've got this group, right? And so if we were attacking John, whether it was on the blue sky thing or the daily success calls or whatever it was, there is no way this group would have existed today. But clearly we saw something in John and we just, we, we, we gelled, we were attracted to him. Law of attraction, yeah, was at work. But even John as a person, as a man, as a father, as a husband, that he just has, he oozes, right? skills and character traits that we want to emulate we want i mean as a salesperson he's a guru right his stats are just amazing right so there are just so many different things that have attracted us to john if we didn't see those things we wouldn't be on this platform right so once again if you attack something you can't attract that right so just in your own little world right right now think of the people who are making an impact right in your life do you attack them because if you do there's no way you can learn from them. There's just no way you're gonna benefit from their life's journey. There's no way their success is gonna rub off on you. You know, as, as, a, as a group, right? Where, where this is our own mastermind group, right? Eventually, Think and Grow Rich also says to us, we take on the character. We take, we take on the, the, the skill. We take on the mannerisms of our mastermind group, right? And it's, it's, it's true for us. We're, we're all thinking the same, you know, somebody, Give me or brings an idea and says, how about we do this? There's most of the time, well, I, I haven't experienced it. There's no pushback. There's no, oh no, I don't like the sound of that. We're usually, hell yeah, where do I sign up? That's because we're all of one mind. We're of one purpose. We're going in the same direction. We cheer each other on, you know, whether it's Adrian Jackson hitting, you know, 10,000 in sales, it's like the chat goes wild. Well done, congratulations. We don't attack anybody, right? Whether it's somebody who's finally got the supplier's name from China, Kim, it was the other day, she finally got that bit of information. We were like, yeah, go girl, right? Whether it was Randy the other night on um, Stuart's um, e-commerce thing, where she was selling out, where she had to slow down the pace of sales, right, of her item. We were like, Randy, you're killing it. Just keep going, girl. Like, place your order now, right? Nobody was jealous of anybody. And this is because we've created a healthy environment where we are supportive of each other, where we just, you know, we egg each other on. And so, you know, that, that was what was coming up for me today. And I just want everybody to personally celebrate yourselves. So praise every now and again, look in the mirror and say, you know what? I'm not doing that bad a job. Well done, Ivier, right? Well done, Suzanne. Or, you know, Suzanne, you look great today. Look in the mirror and say, I still got it going on. You know, it's like, like, yeah, no, seriously. Like, you know, if you don't pay yourself that compliment, why should anybody else, right? But if you leave your house feeling good, it doesn't matter what other compliments you get or don't get, you already know that you're killing it, right? That you still got game, right? And so, you know, guys, you know, I mean, I was saying to Bill today, I don't know what he's done with his hair or whether it's the glasses or it's the whole look, he's here, right? He's on point. We've missed him. It was just so great to see him. I was like, is that Bill, right? And so let's celebrate each other. Let's celebrate ourselves because if it doesn't start from our own individual homes, don't bother exporting it. If it doesn't work, if you don't practice it within your four walls, don't bother trying to do it anywhere else. So don't try and make somebody else do it, right? So if that strategy isn't working for you, don't export it. But it has to start here. It has to start with us. So if you don't mind, everybody raise your glasses, your coffee mugs, your teacups, your water bottles, your shakes, your, I don't know, it's probably too early in some places for, for champagne, whatever it is you've got. I've got my water bottle, you know. And if you don't have anything, raise your hand in a fist like that. And when we go one, two, three, I want you to go, yes, right? Or, or you know, good on me or well done. Whatever it is that resonates for you, say what it is, is gonna raise the vibration where you are, right? So are we all ready? At the count of three, we're gonna celebrate ourselves, right? So one, two, three. Yes! Yes! Yay! Yeah, and drink to yourself, drink to your health, drink to your success, right? So well done, everyone. I mean, that's what was coming up for me. 
Um, you know, it's short, sharp, sweet, um, and I hope it resonates with you. Um, and now, yeah, we open it up for, you know, your feedback, your comments. Thanks, everyone. I don't see any hands up yet, but yeah. Yay, John, you're up. Hey, so, so what, we, uh, what we acknowledge and what we validate expands. We get more of that. There's a saying, uh, draw, draw nigh unto God and he will draw nigh unto you. Nigh meaning near, uh, some old English there. But, uh, and that which we're critical of, we send in the other direction, right? So as you just indicated, and I think a lot of times it's, it's easy to be self-critical or self-deprecating and, and uh, you know, our own worst critic and all this, uh, which was interesting for me when I was transitioning out of the workaday world in terms of working for the man, right, or at a corporation or whatever, um, I, I inherited the, the toughest boss I've ever had, me, right? So it's not like, oh, I'm going to go drink coconut drinks now because, you know, I'm self-employed. Uh, that being said, um, something I, I wrote the, the title of the book in the chat, The Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol. It's one of the ones that uh, Earl Nightingale recommended for those of you who have actually listened to the uh, Strangest Secret uh, audio recording, classic, right? He mentioned, you know, go find books that instruct and inspire. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, the Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol. Wake Up and Live by Dorothea Brand, if you can still find a copy. Now, he said that back in the 60s or whatever. Um, by the way, we're definitely going to put that book on the list. But in The Magic of Believing, one of the things that Claude Bristol said was, all right, for salespeople, now, before you go on the sales call, you're about to walk into the boardroom and present to the CEO or whatever, you go into the bathroom, you look in the mirror, you got this. This is the biggest deal. You're, you're about to make this deal, right? So, so looking at yourself in the mirror and having that uh, acknowledgement, that, that affirmation, and some people could, could think that that's a clowny kind of thing. It's funny, right? I remember Saturday Night Live here in the United States is a, a comedy show. They did a skit with Stuart Smalley, the self-help guy, who was like a really, you know, timid and, and not, you know, not a very assertive or powerful guy, but he would always end his his skit, his episode by looking in the mirror saying, you know, you're you're good, you're enough, and Dosh Garnet, people like you, right? And it was a joke, um, but uh, yeah, uh, it's a whole lot better than than uh, you know just being like, oh, you know, I suck or I missed that shot. It comes back to something that I mentioned some months ago. That I learned on the on the the range on the shooting range, right? If you're if you take a shot, you throw a shot. It's like a, a not good. Oh, I suck. No, don't say that. You say I'm better than that. I'm better than that. Yeah, that was, you know, uh, a demonstration of of you know uh, not not good, right? So so now let me go ahead and show how much better than that I am on my next uh, attempt, right? So I think um, yeah, are we are we capable of blunder? Yeah, of course but we're also capable of greatness and what we validate expands. So let's keep looking at what works. Thank you so much for this reminder, EBA. I'm gonna do this today. I already did it. You, you, you forced me to do it. You enforced <laughs> my own self-acknowledgement with raised cup. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. Bill, your turn. EBA, uh, that was uh, pretty damn good. Oh, thank you. Uh, inspiring as ever. Um, and thank you for, for the very nice comments, even though I matched your red top <laughs> <laughs> with my face <laughs> going on red. Uh, yeah, we don't we don't praise ourselves anything. And I'm I, listen, I'm gonna say a few things here um, and let you know why I haven't been about because I've had a pretty shit month, let's just say. Um, and if, if things change here for me, don't be concerned if I go off the camera. But I want to share it with you guys because I want to tell you that uh, A, uh, that there is positivity in life and B, well, we've got to make it. Nobody's going to make it for us. Uh, you talked earlier, Evie, about uh, attacking John Lavinia. I'm going to attack John Lavinia full square because John Lavinia sat and looked down the face of that stupid camera in front of him and told me, even though I wasn't appearing on screen, to stop playing the victim. Uh, so, John, I'll, I'll buy you a beer, but I might hit you a slap in the back of the head for waking me up. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so run down. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with uh, Jamie mentioned a great stress talk the other week uh, about how wonderfully pets help you. Uh, unfortunately, he mentioned that the day my dog died. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't know if he's here, but Jimmy, your timing's impeccable. Uh, but it's not meant as an I can I can get over that. That's that's okay. I just thought uh, if I was in a better place, I would have came on and said, "Hey, Jimmy, that's really good. Thanks. My dog just died today, <laughs> but I didn't. I I kept the positivity." Um, so yeah, I had uh, a dog that died. I have uh, a marriage that has broke up. I have uh, a mum who's in uh, an old people's home who's having really bad emotional times. But uh, I spent the last two days, thankfully, that I was able to get in and not be kept out because of all this COVID stuff. Um, and hopefully talk her around uh, to some sense of normality. Uh, so at the minute I find myself in uh, well, I suppose you could call it La La Land as opposed to uh, in between land. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm having to sell my mom's house. I'm having to deal with a brother who's uh, not very good at anything other than drinking. <laughs> and I have a brother, another brother who leaves everything up to me to sort out. But, uh, but I'm not looking for sympathy here, uh, 100%. What I'm here to tell you is I am still remaining positive despite that. And one of the reasons I have become more positive, and I'm going to say uh, that as well, as those of us that are dog lovers know, when we lose a pet, it's bloody awful. Uh, and I make no apologies for swearing. I, I watched my father die with Alzheimer's, and I can tell you it was 10 times worse putting my dog down than it was watching my father die. And the reason being, my dad had had his life, his own life. He had reached the, an age of 83, Unfortunately, 17 years of Alzheimer's didn't help that man. He didn't forget me. I mean, right up to the last second, I was talking to him and then he just, away he went. Mm. But the fact of the matter is there's positivity in everything and you have to build on all those crappy experiences. Mm. And that's what I'm trying to do now. Uh, your talk today, AVA, has been spot on. Uh, and I would like to thank you from my bottom of my heart for doing that. If I was beside you, I would give you a hug and say cheers, sister. But I, I, I'll do a virtual hug to you. <laughs> uh, and the positivity side is that no matter what life throws at us, we've got to keep working at it. It's, life isn't a box of chocolates. Life's crap. <laughs> and it's not that you set out to make anything. It's not that you set out to become a victim. It's that you said, I, how am I going to deal with this? Uh, and I, I, there are so many people on here that inspire me. Actually, you all do, bottom line. But there are those that give me that poke in the eye now and again, like Mr. Lavinia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Stuart, who gives me the inspiration to want to go to the States and climb on a mountain with a llama. Um, and... You know, there's so much out there to do, no matter what is hitting us. Uh, and your your whole talk, and I'm sorry, I'm probably going on dribbling here, but your whole talk there today, I mean, you, I like the way you asked the questions and asked for people to put in. And there was a, two questions went through my head this last few days to ask all you guys. And the first one might sound really shocking, given that I was a police officer for 30 years. Uh, how many of us here are murderers? Probably not a lot, I would suspect. But how many of us here are murderers of our own dreams? There could be quite a few of us. And that's one thing that I've realized over this last while. The positive side is that I have now come off all the medication that I've been given for PTSD. The positive side of that is that when my dog died, I cried sorely when my marriage broke down i cried sorely but i was happy because i had found emotion again because i had not had emotion for the last five more god knows how many years where you know nothing affected me and now all of a sudden it's rushing back to affect me but you know what well 
dig myself up out of the flipping trench and let's march on because tomorrow's another day. And I just want to thank you all. And I don't want any sadness from this. This is just how life is. All right. So if anybody comes on here and says the next line is, oh, Bill, you poor thing. No, <laughs> there'll be none of that. <laughs> so thank you very much, Evie, and thank you, everybody. And thank, thank you, John. Thank you, thank you, Bill. I don't really um, need you, John. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bill, I want to I wanna believe that part of your strength and your um, resolve in being able to go through the loss of your dog um, has been from this group, right? I mean, I think I think you're. I mean, I think you're a fabulous man. I think you're awesome, and I think you're much stronger today than you were the very first time we saw you, or heard you, or spoke to you. And this is part of what John's all about. He's all about the more time we spend together, the better versions of ourselves he wants us to be. He wants us to actually go out there and make spectacles of ourselves, right? And he's always all about, it's who's doing the thing. It's who's doing the journey. Not what the journey is, but it's who we're becoming in the process. That for him, you know, is a lot more important on the, on the totem pole, right? So he's all about our character, right? And, and that for me, I mean, and, and so I, I, I wanna believe that this mastermind group, this, this family, you know, has made you, you know, the strong and responsible and, you know, just broad-shouldered man that you are, right? So good on you for kicking those meds and, and you know, coming off those. That is awesome, right? I mean, that is an achievement and that is worth celebrating. And so I raise my water bottle to you, to that. And I say, go on, brother. I mean, you know, the sky's the limit, right? And I drink to that. Cheers. Yeah, I drink to that. And, you know, with your pet, being able to cope with that, I think it's just a testament of your strength. And I'm glad you keyed into the emotions. So you're not bottling that up. And so it's not going to surface somewhere down the line and wreck, you know, another memory, right? So good on you for, for going through that grief, that whatever, coming out the other side, all the better for it. Um, there's a saying that says you don't, you, you don't go through more than you can bear. And so the fact that you're the responsible father you are, the responsible brother you are, the responsible son you are to your mother, just shows that you got what it takes to, to stand in those roles and excel in those roles. So I'm not surprised that the responsibility for those particular things is falling to you. It just means you've got what it takes, you know, to get the job done. And so we're proud of you. As a family, we're cheering you on. We're right behind you. And, you know, it's like, go on, brother. You know, just just keep showing up, right? Um, so that that's what I was going to say. Um, and I'm sure everybody agrees with me on this. So, yeah, it's, 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 I mean, the chat is already going wild for you. And people are clapping and, you know, raising hands. So good on you, Bill. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Um, Cyril, you're next. Um, yeah, my, my, my best bill, you know, you know, you know, I know, you know, um, uh, I love, I love the, uh, I love, I love your, um, discussion today, Vivier. um, and I completely agree with you. I, I would just tweak one thing from a, the British perspective and also from the psyche perspective from, from the books I've read on, um, the unconscious mind. It doesn't do well with negatives or complicated ideas. So um, I think you have to say, I think you have, I'm, I'm not bad is actually a cop out and doesn't work. So you have to do the hog, the whole hog. I'm great. You have to do it because I know from the British perspective, it's, it's a bit of a push to say that to ourselves sometimes because we, we don't often look at it that way. Um, we feel we're, we're pushing it out too far, but it's something I think we have to do um, because that's what our psyche will understand more so than the, the not bad idea. And I, I completely agree with you because I've been saying that, that those phrases for years, so I understand completely. Um, but um, I, I'm, from all my reading, uh, it doesn't, that those phrases don't work well on the psyche. They, in the, the, because basically you're talking to a child and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's confusing. So it has to be positive and straightforward. And, and usually, and from what my reading said, it has to be, if you're doing affirmations, they have to be simple. 
Okay, so um, you're all great and I love you. Thank you. Thank you, Cyril. Um, you know, that that's, I, I appreciate that. And, and thank you for your, your perspective on that. I think where I was coming from was, you know, most people are probably not even doing this at all. So I think if we start, we're, we're at least away from level zero, right? And we're headed in the right direction. So yeah, if anybody wants to put the name of books that would help us, you know, script the right phrases, I'm all for that. But I think the thing is, let's make this a habit. So whatever words we choose, whatever, whatever, whatever phrases resonate with us, wh whatever comfort levels where, you know, we want to start at, we can only get better, right? But let's start somewhere, you know, let, let's not make it complicated. Whether you're going to look yourself in the mirror and say, you've got it going on, or you're a good mom, or, you know, whatever it is that just speaks to where you're at, let's start doing something. Yeah, that, that was where I was coming from. And I wanted to phrase it in such a way that it captured as many members of the family as possible, right? So thanks, Cyril, for that perspective. Kim, you're up. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, hopefully I my phone holds out. I think I have about 4% left. But um, first of all, I want to say to, and maybe you've already done this at the beginning of the call, but I want to just celebrate Jody and say happy birthday. And I think someone else has a birthday today too. So celebrate both of them and say happy birthday. Um, and I want to thank you for such an inspiring um, topic and as always, always on point. Um, I'm going to try, I have a whole bundle of emotions here, but I'm going to try and bring it together. Um, you know, I shared something on um, Shannon's um, CEO challenge group the other day that I had an aha moment. I was speaking with my husband about Amazon and my second product and, you know, thinking about how can I, um, you know, actually, before I even start into this, I just want to say this, that I hope that when I share m my stories, I hope that I'm, I'm not, um, I guess I'm not coming across as a victim. Somebody mentioned that here, I think it was Bill. And um, because I played the victim all my life. And so I, I'm learning, I'm learning so much from this group. And it's just, I, I mean, if you knew who I, I'm telling you, if you just knew who I was 15, 20 years ago, you would just be like, holy cow, are you the same person? I mean, this group has just been such an inspiration to me and so amazing. So I just want to say that. Um, but, you know, you're just, you know, I shared with my husband and I put this in Shannon's group that, you know, um, and I may have shared this before, but I, you know, was um, told I was an idiot all my life. And so, um, you know, as I'm sharing with my husband about, Amazon and I'm, I'm thinking, okay, well, this is my second product. And I'm like, I'm doing this, but you know, what if I did this, honey? And I added this and this would be, would add additional profit to it. You know, I could, I could increase the price by 10, you know, at least $10. And, you know, we're having this conversation and I thought, holy cow. I'm like, this is pretty awesome. Like, I'm not stupid. You know, and I looked at him and I said, I I'm not an idiot. And he's like, no, you're not. And, um, you know, it was just this aha moment, you know, because, you know, I think we, we, we know that we get stuck in those limiting beliefs and, and uh, you get so entrenched in them, you know, and, and it drives everything that you do and how you respond to things. And so it was just an amazing, you know, to have that aha moment. And I've just learned so much from this group that has helped me to like be at that place. And it's all, this group is also helping me to learn how to uh, express myself, um, hopefully without aggression and without heated, um, exchange because you know as a child I was just told to sit down and shut up and I didn't have opinions and I couldn't have opinions and I didn't have conversations and so it's just uh, you know it's just amazing to be able to to do this and to be able to express yourself and and um, listen to the way you all converse with one another and communicate back and forth and it's it's enabled me to have better conversations with my husband, with my daughter, with my son. I mean, we've had heated political conversations, but it's been good. I mean, it's been, you know, um, I don't wanna say heated, I guess just very good debate type uh, conversations and um, never even, I didn't do debate in high school. So, I mean, for me, a debate was like, you know, you know, oh my God, they're attacking me, you know, but it, it's just been amazing. This group has been amazing for what it's done for me. And then I wanna speak to what you said about talking to ourselves and celebrating ourselves because two things here that I want to speak to on that, and then I'm done. Um, um, you talked about uh, looking in the mirror. And so um, prior to COVID, I had a women's group that I would go to. And this woman that um, ran the group, 
she would pull out mirrors and we would have to pull those mirrors out and look at ourselves in the mirror. And she would have sing things that we would have to say to ourselves. And I remember when I first did that, you know, the first thing she would say is you are beautiful. And I'd look in that mirror and I'd be like, Ooh, you know, everything that I was saying was like, that is foreign to me. You know, I'm not beautiful. I'm not smart. I'm this, I'm that, I'm what, you know, and it, 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 it as it rose up in me, it was so, um, you know, just foreign, you know, it was uh, like, my body was like, oh, no, that's not you, you know, so I want to, I feel like, uh, you know, I, I know, Cyril, that you said that you don't feel like that works um, for the child, but I want to speak to something else that Therese said in regard to that, but, um, so I feel like that does help, you know, and there's times maybe where I'm down, and I'll go in and look in the mirror and just say, hey, you know, get your act together, you know, pull yourself out of this, you know, slump that you're in, you know, but, um, and then, um, Sorry, two more things. And Therese, um, in one of the group sessions, she said to me, you know, um, we were talking about my mom and she just basically said, um, you know, you're an adult woman, you don't need your mom's approval. And she said, think about that little girl. She said, get a picture of that little girl when you were a little girl and put it in front of you. And she said, and, you know, put next to it, I love you. And so I literally on my planner, I now have two pictures of me when I'm a little girl and I have on there, I love you and I believe in you. And, you know, and and honestly, I really feel like this is just like breaking off so much mental garbage, you know, that has been in my life. And it's just, it's powerful, you know, it's so powerful. So whew, my whole together. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. And then um, as far as the victim, um, yesterday we went to see my daughter and my daughter's just in such a really, she's kind of in a, uh, not a good place, you know. That's true. And, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. So, so much, you know, yeah. challenge with that. And now you can get like low sugar, no sugar. I've I've muted. Uh, oh, am I still there? Okay. Yeah, you're here. Um, you're here. I didn't know if I was losing, you know, anyway, I'm, I'm done. And so I went to visit my daughter. And so um, in the past, if that would happen to me, I'd leave there and I'd think to myself, oh my God, you know, what have I done wrong? I wasn't, oh, I was a terrible mother and this and that, you know, how, she was raised and her dad and I, and I just, I left there yesterday. My husband said, are you good? And I said, I'm good. I said, you know what? I said, she's an adult. You know, she's, she's got to work her way through this. She's going to make it. It'll be all right. I'm good. And that right there was just a major breakthrough. So that's all. I'm sorry. I know I ramble and thank you for letting me do that. And I'm done. Well, thank you so much. You know, Kim, Kim, <laughs> like I say, every time you show up, every time you speak, your strength shines through. You are definitely not an I D I O T. I mean, I, I know, you know, I know, I'm sorry. I know. You, you are, I, it's you gone. are powerful. <laughs> you are confident. Yeah. You are definitely not a victim. Um, you stand up for yourself, you communicate clearly and from the heart. I mean, when you speak, you touch us. I mean, we, we, your, your words resonate in us, right? So don't ever think anybody here thinks of you as a victim. In fact, you and victim don't fit in the same phrase, how, however much sentence, Thank right? You. So you're, you're, you're amazing, right? Because sometimes um, I just wonder that I, that I no, you know, not at present all. that not, and I, I hope no, that I'm not. You no, know, so. not at all. But, you know, regardless of where we started, this is what the JLSM platform is all about. That with each passing day, we are a better version of ourselves. We are, even if it's 1% better than we were yeah. yesterday, yeah. that's who we are today, right? And this is John's ethos. And this is what he's trying to drum into us. And this is what we're all buying into, right? So, I mean, Stuart was just saying, we have been experiencing the transformation of various family members over time. And you are one of those success stories. I mean, I look at you, I look at Hung Sang, I look at Jane Akinyalu. I mean, mm. you guys are amazing, right? I mean, Giovanna, I mean, people that never spoke. Now, Carleen, I mean, she speaks yes. and it's boombox, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, this is what this platform is creating. It is creating people of substance. It's creating people we can be proud of. Right. So, yeah. And, and I agree with you. Your daughter at some point will need to stand up and take mm -hmm. responsibility for her journey because she's old enough now. She's big enough now. She's beautiful enough now. She's actually equipped enough now to actually decide what her life is going to look like after this chapter. Yes, it may not have started off the way she wanted it to start off, but she can decide how it continues and how the story ends. Right. Absolutely. So she needs to go through this process, but she will come out the other side. She will see you, the example in you, and how strong and the transformation in you and the force of nature that you are. And she will have no choice but to rise and take her rightful place yes. 
yes. right? And shine like that she, like she's meant to be. So, yeah. you know, you just keep speaking those words into the ether. Keep positively, you know, you know, affirming her as your daughter and you will see her blossom in time. She will come out of this process and she'll be better and stronger for it, Absolutely. right? Yeah. So it's all good. Julia, you. you're next. Um, just a couple of quick things. Um, about 25 years ago, I went through a class that was um, called Self Mastery. And it was a week long thing in California and it was life changing for me. And one of the life changing things that happened was just a phrase that I use to this day. Um, I had kind of a bizarre childhood and I was recovering from a nasty divorce after 20 years of marriage. And uh, I was feeling sorry for myself. And the guy running the program looked at me one day and said, self pity does not become you. And I have kicked myself with that over and over and over. It, Bill, you were talking about John slapping you upside of the head. Well, that was my slap up the side of the head. And it really made a difference to me. And uh, I, I keep that in mind all the time. And, and the other is just a word of encouragement, Bill, not a word of feeling sorry for you, but a word of encouragement. After my nasty divorce, 14 years later, I met <laughs> the right person for me and have been, very, very happy for 16 years. So, um, you know, it's not all over when you have a divorce. My, my daughter had a terrible breakup, thought she was, you know, it was the end of the world for her. She's now happy and she's a mom and, you know, life does go on and it does get better and just don't self-pity, you know, no self-pity, just slap your own self upside the head. Take care all. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much, uh, Julia. That That's amazing. I mean, I, I used to have pity parties, um, you know, where I'd just lock myself in and have a right old, you know, proper pity party, right? Um, and yeah, um, Virginia has just put in the, in the chat something that Joyce Meyer says. And yeah, I totally, I mean, when she said that in one of her talks, or I think it was one of her books, I read it, that just like slapped me upside the head. And I thought, you know what, you got to stop this. Um, so like many of us on the platform, I've been divorced as well. But that that's not a, you know, that's not the way my life ends, right? There's life after divorce, right? Um, if anything, you go through the process, you get to know yourself that much better. Um, you know, you, you know what not to do the next time around. You have a better idea of what it is you do want next time around, right? And you get to appreciate what you do have next time around. So there's just so much, but life definitely carries on after divorce. And I, I'm, I'm, I can testify to that. So thank you so much for that share, um, Julia. Um, I see Bill's hand is up, but just before I call Bill again, Khaled, your hand was up and then it disappeared. Did you change your mind or have you dropped off? I just no, want to make no, sure that, you know, we're giving you a chance to speak. Hi, my wife just came to say something and I wasn't listening oh, to okay. her. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to say this is a really nice topic. And I think it's just a suggestion. This should be a quarterly topic, maybe, because we, <laughs> we sometimes don't really appreciate ourselves what we did. We think about more what we couldn't do, what we did do wrong, what we... What we you did the good. We don't. We don't. We don't appreciate ourselves. I think it should be like a quarterly or monthly discussions, and that we don't forget to um, to congratulation, uh, congratulate ourselves, and say, you know what, uh, you've done good. You've done good, and you, you can do better. That's what I wanted to say. That um, I really enjoyed your uh, topic today, and that's the reason I joined back to this group. Much appreciated. Oh, Thank fantastic. You. Thank you so much, Khaled. Well, you're speaking my language. I'm definitely behind you on that one, brother. So thumbs up in the chat, type of three, if you want this to be a regular reminder, maybe a monthly or a quarterly type of three. So we just keep reminding each other to celebrate ourselves actively and personally. Those are the two watchwords. We need to celebrate ourselves personally and actively. So with some kind of emotion or gesture, raising a glass, tight face going, yes, something on a regular basis. So we don't forget to do this. Brilliant. You see, we're all aboard. I like that. Bill, you're back up for something else to say. Thanks, Khaled, for that. Uh, just, just when you thought it was safe to let me go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've just got to reaffirm what I've said there. You know, listening to you guys after, listening to the Kim there. My God, Kim. Who the hell are you? You weren't. You're not the same person you were 
six months ago, you know, exactly. a yeah. shy, oh, I don't know if I can speak, <laughs> embarrassed <laughs> yeah. and whatever else. And I, you know, if you told me, Kim, that, hey, right, Bill, uh, I've got a ticket for you. I want you to go and do this job. I'd just go and bloody do it. I wouldn't even ask what it was. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, that's the confidence that you've got now. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to affirm for all you guys. I mean, you know, what time is it now? We're on 45 minutes. And I feel a hundred times better than I did at five o'clock, my time. And that's down to this group. And uh, I just listened to everybody and read everything there. And I just want to thank you. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it is what it is. Uh, as in, yeah, I mean, I said this to my mum yesterday. You have to want to be happy. It's easy to make yourself sad, but mm -hmm. you have to want to be happy. And you know, old bitch she's eighty nine and has a bit of dementia, etc. She, uh, she, she agreed with me. So, but uh, you know, it's it's great, and this group is just unbelievable. Is our uh, one of my favorite things about this group is uh, if you, you call it family, okay, family, and that's what we are. As a matter of fact, we're probably better in a family. This is right now, some of my family, I'd like to set fire to them, but apparently that's against the law. <laughs> but it is a family, and you are all, you know, you are all bloody marvellous. You know, do pat yourselves on the back. He's, every one of you deserves it every minute of the day. So thank you. Thanks for allowing me back in every day. Fantastic. <laughs> well said, Bill. We're, we're right behind you on that. I think, I mean, the chat's blowing up, as you can see. Uh, we're all agreeing with you on there. My brother, Mark, you're next. <laughs> brother from another mother. You know? <laughs> God dang, Bill. You're, I, I'm just, I'm laughing here like crazy. I just, um, this whole session today has been just uh, amazing. Uh, same thing with uh, family. Boy, do we have moments. You know, there, there are moments that I think, you know, uh, the only reason we're together is because we're blood. <laughs> yeah, I've been through that too. So that's okay, man. But uh, th this environment, uh, I've heard it said here n a number of times, and I, I say it constantly, this, this morning session for me is, uh, it is my vice. It is my number one vice. Uh, it's my number one addiction. I have to be here. Um, I, I just, if I miss this session and I think I missed it one day cause I was traveling to Washington, I was like, dang, I just, um, can't, uh, can't afford to do that. So the rest of the day, uh, in the morning, whatever I'm doing, this is my appointed place of duty. Uh, this, like you say, Bill, this is my, this is my family now. And I've watched uh, just a, a quick comment to Kim and others uh, and myself, where I was at the beginning of this, I'm sure people have seen the transition too. Where I was in March coming on board and where I am now is wholly different. Um, I just, I feel so much more comfortable and uh, confident in being able to just uh, be open and engaging. And I'm having some great uh, success. I'm working with, with a number of people here, um, you know, in nutrition, in in uh, it just, you know, the whole book club thing, everything, just this, all the different uh, backgrounds, the, the different facilitating capabilities here of everybody and what's input uh, to this, this whole venue. I, I didn't know these things ever existed before I got involved in this. And my hat's off to you, John. I mean, just I love being here in these environments. And although I don't make every session that I, you know, that's out here, uh, there's a lot going on, like all of us, I doesn't mean I don't appreciate and uh, don't look forward to being uh, here and participating and and uh, trying to give to those who are giving to me. Whether you believe it or not, everybody here is giving something to me every day that I am here. And I'm just a very, a very um, honored and I'm very thankful and I appreciate everybody who is part of this. So I, I thank you all, everybody. I thank you for being here and I just love this, Vivier, and this is so, this is, I need this every day, and I really mean that. I need this every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mark, I think we all agree with you. I mean, I don't think there's a place we'd rather be. I was just reading the chat. Virginia was talking about the difference between this platform and uh, mental, you know, health support groups. 
um, I don't know if you guys know, but in the in the UK, I mean, it's become like the buzzword. And, you know, I mean, in my organization, we're having a lot more people coming out of the woodwork with, you know, mental health issues. And, and it's right from the top, you know, so directors, you know, all the way down to people on the shop floor, it's just becoming more prevalent, right? So I, I don't know what well, I do know. The COVID situation has probably exacerbated all of that to where we probably had one or two people, you know, within the organization, this has just tipped, you know, borderline people over the edge, right? Um, but I just look at this group and I say, if I didn't have this group to turn to every day for as many sessions as I can make, would that have been my story too, right? So when I think of what I'm grateful for, this group features highly on my gratitude list because, you know, the, and, I, and I think we are yet to discover the fullness of the benefits of the JLSM family platform. That, that is still gonna unfold in our lives for years to come. We can only see as far as we can see today, but I, I, I will guess that there's, there's lots more benefits to come from this. So, you know, once again, John, I, I don't even think you realize what you were birthing when you set this up, but the benefits are still unfolding. I mean, this is a gift that keeps on giving. This is a platform that knows no bounds, right? And we're all just so grateful to be here together. So, you know, thank you so much for that reminder, Mark. And we've got Evelyn, Madam Chop Chop, you're up. And I'm gonna give you some Chop Chop here. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> First thing is thank you to you. Cause- Oh, you're welcome, babes. Amazing, amazing session. Uh, the subject is outstanding. And um, I know you guys think that everything is positive on my end. Everything is flowers and, you know, rainbows. And it's not. It really isn't. But I do talk to myself. I do look in the mirror and I do tell myself, I love you. You know, and you're awesome. You're doing great for every single little thing that I failed on, but I saw it as an opportunity and I gained experience and I learned now how to do it correctly. I also want to talk to Kim. So I don't know where it, I, I want to see her because Kim, you're beautiful. You're amazing. You know this because we keep on telling you that all the time, but I'm going to ask you a big favor. Stop repeating what your father told you. Done. Today was the last time you said that. This is like the second or third time. I keep on hearing you say that. You gotta stop, because you're not that person. We love you. You have this huge community. You have the one with Shannon, done. That is gonna be erased if you can write it down on, the, on your planner, whatever, and cross it off many times. That's not you anymore. You have, you have never been to, be, to begin with, but you believed it because it was said to you when you were a child. So stop. I don't wanna hear it again. I really don't because you're a brilliant, beautiful human being and we all love you. You know that. And uh, stop doubting yourself. And this is for everyone else that self doubts. You guys, I have been through hell and back, but you guys, may see it, may not, may hear it, may not, but we got to substitute all those negative words with positive. I'm not saying the world is, you know, beautiful, wonderful, blah, blah, blah. No, the world is what we make of it when bad things happen to us. And if we keep the negative thoughts in our head, that's what we're attracting more of. So we got to try to switch that with the opposite of that. You know, and even sometimes we don't feel it that way. But when we raised our glasses, we changed the mood that we were in. We were cheering. We were happy for that. Yeah. Bill, now it's your turn. You're not going to get away with this one. <laughs> you know what's coming. Chop, chop. When you're down is when you need us the most. I know you don't want to hear it, you know, but we're here. We've always been here. You know where to come. When you're down, reach out. You know, I've said that to you personally, and we all have said that to you in the chat. We're here, you guys. I've said this about a month ago, I think it was. I said it again, you know, when we are down is when we need this group the very most. 
We are here, we're full of love, we're full of understanding, we're not judging anybody. So please reach out. Um, I don't know who else. Um, Cyril, we love you. Simple. <laughs> I'm not gonna complicate it for you. We love you and we love having you around. So um, happy birthday, Jody. You're sneaky. You told me when somebody's birthday was here and you didn't say anything. It's not even on your Facebook group, but we posted for you to celebrate you on the Facebook group. And you guys, we have Carleen here. I know we wished her a happy birthday yesterday, but she was not able to be here. So happy birthday, Carleen. That's it. I'm done. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Madam Chop Chop. Well, I, I'm not even going to try and summarize that. I'm not even going to try and put my own two cents in addition to that. I mean, yeah, because you've already done it, Chop Chop. So that's it. Moving on. Virginia, our latest author, you're up. Hey, so I just want to say, first of all, I completely agree with Evelyn. We need to quit bringing up what happened in the past because um, what was that movie where the guy ripped the rearview mirror off the windshield and threw it out and said, we're not looking behind? You guys know there's some movie out there where he did that. Um, but as they were going on this cross country around the world thing. But the reason I wanted to um, just actually raise my hand and speak, brilliant topic. I agree with everything that has been said, but I wanted to say as far as this group goes, when I was doing my acknowledgement page on the cookbook, I didn't, I just wanted to be just a couple people. I wanted to recognize that I had an editor, that I had a word processor. I wanted to thank um, some of the relatives that had been involved with providing recipes and backup and that was going to be it. Well, it got a little bit bigger than that. And I closed it. I don't know if anyone's read this, but um, you can actually preview the book. You don't have to buy it, but you can preview the sample and see this. So um, it's like the third page in is the acknowledgement. And it says, with much gratitude to John Lavinia and fellow members of the JL Success Mastermind Group, who consistently provided encouraging support during this endeavor, you are like family to me. And then I said, good a tutti. Because truly, I don't think I could have done this as well, as quickly, as much believe and just feeling like, you know, it was pregnant in me, it was going to come out one way or the other, you know, um, without this group. And I just wanted to say that, yeah, it's, it's like me as an addiction. I move my appointments around if I can. <laughs> no, I'm not available from 10 to 11 mountain time. Sorry. <laughs> you know, 11.30, I run over, you know. <laughs> So yes, yes, this is very, uh, very uh, supportive, very happy for me. And I'm very grateful to be a part. Thank you. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Virginia. I mean, th this is just, you know, it's more testimonies to come as to what this group is yet to birth. And, you know, you are one of the success stories for sure. Um, you know, we, we knew when you were having the sleepless nights and flat out weekends working on the book, where you'd have your camera off because you just hadn't had, you know, and you just said to us, guys, my camera is off because I haven't slept. I haven't done this. I haven't done the other. But we knew, you know, that you were committed to getting this out, you know, this time. Yes, you shifted the date, you know, but here you are published. It's up. People are buying it, you know, so well done. Yes, Virginia. Whoa, you know, celebrating you. And you know, that's what happens every time we actively celebrate, every time we actively appreciate, we raise the vibration, like, like Madam Chop Chop said, right? And, and so this is what we need to do because that energy, the atmosphere, the environment around us changes and you're just more energized to actually go forth and do more, do bigger, do better, right? You just, you have this spring in your step that just sets you up for greater success, right? So I don't see any other hands up. Thank you so much for that, Virginia, for the acknowledgement you know, of John Lavinia and the rest of the JLSM family. I think that was really, really um, gracious of you to, to share and mention us um, you know, in the acknowledgements of your book. Um, so yeah, we're right on the hour. I don't see any other hands up. And so I'm just gonna wish everyone a good evening. Um, we do have um, Nancy, I think, with yoga later on, do we? or not today, tomorrow. Okay, so today is 7 p.m., Books for, uh, Books for Britain with Mandy Anderson, yeah? And then we've got at 11 p.m. UK time, uh, our friend Adrian Garner. We've got the business tools with him. And then we've got Glenn Henderson with his networking magic 
at 2 a.m. UK time. So that's what's up um, for the rest of the evening, right? Um, but thank you so much once again, everyone. And I'm, you know, I'm glad that the session today was useful. And like Khaled has suggested, let's try and make this a regular thing so that we create a habit of doing this. But yeah, see you guys soon and have a good evening. Cheers. Thanks, Olivier. You're welcome.